Thank you. Move kitchen fishing. Welcome to today's video. another one. Woohoo! They're getting bigger. G'day guys, Will Kitching here. We've got the lucky fishing hat again today and I'm out on a solo session to try and catch a feed of whiting for the family. So my brother and my dad couldn't be here today. They had an appointment but I thought stuff it. I'm gonna go fishing and I'll try and get us a feed. So for our family a feed of whiting is about 10 so that's 20 fillets between four people. That's the plan today. I'm gonna to try and get about 10 whiting or a few more would be a bonus to make that feed even better. I might try some drifting for starters and uh, then maybe anchor up here and fish over the drop off. But yeah, I'll let you know what's going on as the day goes on. Hopefully it's a relaxing day. Hopefully I can stay out of the wind and uh, have a bit of fun catching some whiting. They fight hard and they taste bloody good. So that's why we love to target them. Before we do that, don't forget to subscribe and leave a like rating. Um, leave a comment below and ask any questions or just say g'day. I love to chat with you guys and uh, share it with your mates if you think they'd enjoy it or you think it could help them. So yeah, I'm going to be giving plenty of tips and hopefully there'll be plenty of action. All right, without further ado, I think I'm going to head down this way a little bit. The tide is running out. It's almost low tide. So they're not going to be up on the sand flats. They're going to be in the little gutters and, and channels around those and even feeding in the mouths of channels where bait could be getting flushed out with that run out tide. So I'm going to go target that now, a bit of a gutter and the mouth of a channel. So fingers crossed they're biting up that way. Let's go see if we can get some. So first things first, I had to actually try and find some whiting. So what I did was I drifted over the top of this sand flat and into some deeper water into a little bit of a channel off the edge of it. When you're trying to find fish, it can pay to try a few different depths. After a couple of drifts, I finally found where a school of legal whiting were holding. The whiting is a good one. I'll show you that whiting in a second. First legal one of the day. The wind is terrible, I'm hating it. But um, if I can get a couple of those whiting, I won't be too unhappy. So I'll just put up with it for a couple more drifts and see if I can pick up a couple more. If not, I'll go down to another spot I have. Alrighty, so there's that one. Whee. There's that one, not a monster at all, but um, not bad for a first fish of the day. So. Very nice, beautiful, sandy coloured one. Hopefully I can pick up a couple more here. A couple more. That's better. This one will be legal. We found a school. I'm just gonna keep going back around on that little school there. That's a bagger. That's a bagger, come on. This will be legal, guys. Every time I come across the school, I'm getting one. 
So I just gotta get away from these rocks here, but yeah, there you go. I'll try and get another one here. Alright, so I've come to a spot here now. Um, we were here yesterday, I got a little flathead and my brother and dad got a fair few whiting while I was walking the bank, just sitting in this spot, casting over this little drop off. So hopefully I'm on the same tide here again today. Hopefully they're biting again. So fingers crossed, I'll put a couple of rods out and uh, hopefully we get some bites. So stay tuned. You gotta watch out for bites. Any second it could go off. legal oh well that's a good start first cast I just got a little one just legal so that's all they have to be I think that rod just got a bite as well so we'll just wait and see what happens I accidentally cut my hook off so I'm gonna tie that back on hopefully get another one a bit better come on eat it he's got it what are you buddy legal whiting please oh it's going like one Yes. Yes, that's what we want. Woohoo! I'll show you him in a second, but wow, I had to fight through some small bites to get him. There we go, guys. Got a bit of a funny fin. He might have been bitten by something when he was younger, but uh, yeah, that's a nice little whiting. Nice and sandy colored. Put up a good fight around the boat, so that was really fun. Hopefully we can get a couple more here. So even with these little whiting, I know I say it in every video, but we bleed them. You cut in behind the gills on both sides and I just put them in a bucket of water, let them bleed out and then put them straight into an ice slurry in the esky, which is up the front of the boat there. And that just keeps them absolutely perfect for eating. When we fill them, there's no blood in them whatsoever. They're just perfect and white and very, very, very tasty. So we're going to do that with this fella now. So what you do is, if you're interested, you want to get your knife in and sort of push their gill back a bit. There's a bit of membrane right along there. You just cut it, you can see the blood coming out already. Flip them over, and you do the other side. Into the bucket, and they'll bleed a little bit. Now, even with those little whiting, that makes them so, so tasty and so clean, the fillets, they're just absolutely beautiful. Got another bite here. Oh. That's another one. Another whiting. Yep. Woohoo! They're getting bigger. 
That's what we want. That's the very next cast. Woohoo! That's a very nice fish. Can't complain with that. I'll give you a look in a second. Whoop on it! Oh, I've missed him. Whoop on it! Oh, I've missed him. Oh, we had another one there too. We'll get this rod back out. Hopefully I don't get a bite. You guys will see it before me, but that is an absolute cracker of a little whiting. Not a monster, but for the broad water at the Gold Coast here, that's a nice fish. Hopefully we can keep picking up a couple more while I'm sitting here in the shade. It's a tough life today. <laughs> Good fun. Very nice. This will be another nice whiting, guys. So I just went to change the GoPro battery. It's gone off. It is a whiting. Come here. Got to get one on this other rod too here in a second. It's getting a bite. It's going to go. One's got it, he just doesn't know it yet. Yep. Not as big. Oh, it's starting to go now. Oh, hello, it'll be alright. It'll be a good whiting. Yes. There we go. Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo! Hopefully, my other one's legal. That one definitely is. Wow. We're onto a little bite here. Oh, that first one I got to just under. This one here he is definitely legal. Oops. Look at that for a nice whiting. How good is that, guys? Beautiful. Just a tip for you with whiting, they're a schooling fish and if you hook one and lose one, it can sometimes spook the school. But also, I think if you catch a one, uh, catch one, sorry, like an undersized one, for example, and release it, it can also spook the school. So we're fishing down this way. I'm going to release this one because it's undersized, but I'm going to chuck it up that way. So hopefully that gets away from the school a little bit and doesn't spook them. There's a tip for you. So I just hooked up again here, guys, while I was dealing with that stingray. Oh, it's going hard another whiting and he might just be legal you know we're getting close to putting that feed together for the family so oh just pop the hook anyway what we'll do is we'll measure him yep he is legal there it is not a huge one only 24 centimeters but um, as I say in a lot of videos, they all taste absolutely beautiful. Look at how sandy and clean they are. And their fillets are beautiful and white. So yeah, I'll get him in the esky. All right guys, apologies for any wind noise, but they seem to have shut down here a little bit. So I need one more to get 10 and that's the minimum we need for a feed. So I think I'm gonna go around some of the other banks here and have a drift in the channels between them. The tide is still low. So the whiting should be down in there. Yeah, that's um, that's the plan. So hopefully the wind's not too bad when I duck my nose out here. And we'll see if we can get that last one for a feed. That was the mission today. So let's see if I can do it. After a couple of disappointing drifts of only small fish, I finally felt a half decent whiting start to swim off with my yabby. Come on, that's a bagger. Come on, B23. Oh, it's going to go close. It is going to go close, guys. He's done it. He's got the 10. <laughs> just 23 and a half. But, oh, that's a relief just to get the 10. Thank goodness. I really had to grind to get that last one, that's for sure. And it's not anything to write home about. <laughs> All right, home time. I'm going in, this wind is annoying me, 
I've got just enough for a feed for the family, so yeah, I'm gonna head in. See you in there. All right guys, just before we finally finish this video, I just wanna say a massive thank you for watching this far and all the support that I've been getting lately, whether it's commenting and uh, sharing my videos, liking or even coming up to me in person on the water. There's been a few people doing that lately and it's been so awesome. So to all you guys, hello and thank you. If you're not subscribed, I'd really, really appreciate it if you do hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you get all of my videos and uh, share it with your mates if you think it could help them. I really hope that this video has shared some tips with you to go out and catch some whiting by yourself. All right, until next time, tight lines. I hope everyone had a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year and I'll see you in the next video.